Good afternoon, fellow committee members. Uh, I am Brandon Finney from Stratford 9, which is Rochester Ward 6. Uh, I come before you as a co-sponsor of the bill to, uh, to present to you a few points that I think are, are poignant and a little more ethereal and not as uh, technical. So I want to, you know, to reiterate that the purpose of calling, of calling a convention is to affirm states' rights, which we've heard about. Uh, we as a free and individual sovereign state have the right to, you know, uh, to govern ourselves outside our federal authority. It is important to maintain our checks on power. We, we also have the right to, to tell the uh, federal government that they're being tyrannical and they need to be reined in. And, you know, and one way to do that is to amend our Constitution and to go through the, the uh, process that the founders had enough foresight into to realize that in future generations we're going to have societal, political, and technical evolution in our societies and that we'll need to update what the Constitution covers as we progress as a society. The convention is, is specifically uh, uh, designed to be limited in specific topics. So the the you know the the, the fear that of, of the runaway convention, which we've heard about, it's it's more of a buzzword now than anything else. It really has no value or meaning. It's not possible. Um, we need to have fundamental changes to protect our future generations from the, the, uh, the, the, the uh, scope and power of the federal government. And to do that is to, is to specifically rein in the corporatism and, and uh, plutocracy that's invaded our modern society as we've allowed corporations to speak more for us than, than the individual. And the individual is the smallest minority in our society. Let's not uh, you know, kid ourselves about that. It's not groups, it's individuals. And as an individual, we have the right to be protected uh, from that tyrannical power, state, you know, federal, or other individuals. Our natural rights are not at risk. Again, the Bill of Rights is protected, it's not going anywhere, and cannot be changed. It is fundamental, and, and this is specifically talking about what the role of federal government is in our society, in our economy, and our personal lives. We want to stem political apathy and extremism in society by making the political process more inclusive, not just to other groups and individuals, but as the right of all citizens to be involved in their government. I mean, we can look around the room and see everybody that's involved here that cares about the integrity of our future and, our, and, and today. And today we have serious problems. We are $32 trillion in debt. That is an unfathomable amount of money that will never be paid that could possibly collapse our entire economic system. And the reason that is happening is because we've allowed our, our federal government to be so involved and intertwined with private institutions uh, that can funnel all of our congressional campaigns that pretty much takes the policy out of it and, 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 and uh, 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 excuse me, and replaces it with corporate power. We are not a corporation, we are a government of the people, and we need to change that. We need to uh, tell our federal government that they do not have power over us, that we are a free and sovereign individual state, and we will maintain that through the convention process. Uh, I will yield any technical questions to the experts. I thank you for your time and your patience.